We're here today talking about creative ways to reduce violence in Chicago, in Cook County, and in our region. It's organizations like this one that give us a model that we can build on. A few weeks ago, Mayor-elect Rahm Emanuel and I stood together and talked about city and county collaboration. We need to deliver services more effectively in our region. Public safety is one of the core functions of the county, and it's a critical area of collaboration with the city and communities throughout the region. Every year, nearly 100,000 people are cycled through our Cook County Jail. 9,000, roughly, are detained at any given time. Nearly 70% of those, 70%, are detained for nonviolent offenses. This level of disruption destabilizes our families, our neighborhoods, our communities, and leads to violence. And we all know that the burden of violence, especially violence that involves our children, is felt across the region, in our schools, in our businesses, in our offices, and in our homes. The summer months are right around the corner when violent crime spikes. You know, I used to talk to my police commanders and we would all agree that the best kind of spring and summer was rainy and cold because everybody would stay inside. Engaging youth early and supporting those already involved in the criminal justice system will reduce the disruption, the violence, and begin to rebuild our communities. To this end, the city and county are partnering in an unprecedented, unprecedented effort to engage kids across the region in summer activities. I'm proud to announce that through this partnership, youth all over the city will have access to county programming and will be able to access mentoring programs, job training programs, and the largest forest preserve system in the county. Programs through the Sheriff's Office, Cook County Works, and the Forest Preserve District will ensure more youth stay off the street and are in educational, fun summer programs that open their minds, keep them safe, and help them hit the ground running when school starts again. This summer is only the beginning, only the beginning. This will be a long-term collaborative effort to look at the criminal justice system in our region as it operates as a whole, from the street, through the jail, and back to the community. Increased coordination between the city, the county, and community-based organizations and foundations like this one will mean that we engage youth before they enter the cycle of the criminal justice system and provide stability as they, le as they leave to prevent violence, reduce recidivism, and stabilize communities throughout the region. Uh, during the campaign, uh, but prior even to the campaign, working uh, in the 94 crime bill, the basic strategy of reducing violent crime, a comprehensive approach, relies on three principles, putting more police on the street, and getting kids and guns off the street. And you cannot achieve the goal of reducing violent crime without those three elements being in a coordinated fashion. And it's essential uh, to have, obviously, the police officers you need to be on the street working with the community. In the same time that you're putting police on the street, you must make sure the kids are off the street in safe environments, and you're prosecuting the gun crimes effectively and strongly. Now, one of the essential ingredients during the, and one of the reasons I call for a comprehensive after-school program is because 70% of all juvenile violence occurs between the hours of 3 and 6. School's out, and neither mom or mom or dad are home. And we need to make sure our kids during the school year are in safe, adult-supervised activities, after-school programs, whether that's athletic, artistic, or academic, but they're in adult-supervised activities and in a safe environment achieving things that are important to them and self, their own self-esteem that will pay dividends in years to come, and immediate dividends being safe. As the President noted, and I have spoken before on, the summer usually sees a spike, I mean historically, not just usually, in violent crime. And it is essential not just during the school year you have an after-school program for kids, but also in the summer months which is why I'm pleased to work together, and this is the type of collaboration our constituents, our shared constituents, expect from both the county and the city, and which is why both the foundations, elected officials, and both, part, both parts of government are working on a single mo focus of keeping our kids safe, and parents know that, especially in the summer months, when gun violence and other types of violence spikes. 
not just during the after school hours, but in the summer uh, days. Programs that we're going to have in our communities in Garfield Park, Englewood, Woodlawn, and right here in Little Village funded will test which of the uh, programs to help our children are most effective. So in the future, as we work through our collaboration, we are targeting our resources on the types of programs that achieve the greatest amount of safety and educational value for our children which is why I'm pleased to be working together here to recognize here at this school, which is a great school, a type of very innovative program where our non-for-profits are helping our government serve the people we work for. Now, just the other day, I announced a uh, public safety team for the city of Chicago, new leadership at the Office of the Emergency Response and Management, as well as uh, for the police department and the fire department and in my office. So we have a comprehensive strategy to public safety that integrates the most important elements of putting more cops on the beat and getting kids and guns off the street. This will give us the information, while in fact the kids in the neighborhoods will be obviously in a very productive and uh, safe environment, but will give us the information so we learn how in the future to better target what we are doing. And I'm glad that, uh, to be here working together with the county on achieving an essential goal as we head into the summer months, have a new leadership in our police department and new programs here in four different communities targeted towards keeping kids safe and in a productive area. And again, I want to thank the elected officials that represent the community directly for their efforts in helping us here, both in Little Village, but this will also be taken to both Garfield, Englewood, and Woodlawn communities. And once again, to the foundations.